your government sell you out. Our praise is glory and honors to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Racha, Akodash, and double honors to the apostles and to the elders of great mercy and peace and salutations to the elect. This is James 5, precept, short and spicy, and it to the point. And I'm your brother, Mark Collard, from the great mystery, want to make a camp with another lesson here to feed the potential electric spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. No, as I started out this lesson, I said, your government sell you out. I'm going to show you why I said that. Because if you was following my, my main channel, which that channel is now under strike and I'm not up. Uh, I'm not allowed to upload anything on it until January 26th of 2021 you know because I put out some credible information out there on my on my channel that goes by the name of GMS 5 precepts you know they ban my channel you can go back on the channel and you, you will see a, a lot a lot of things that I'm about to mention here I've mentioned it there so if it was following up my lessons I was listening to it listening to what I was saying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai because the Lord gave us this knowledge to speak it then you would see what is taking place now now it says government to declare no build no build zones now father let me say something the other day we had a couple of videos and articles been circulating saying there's a potential hurricane out there. You have never saw an official report from the mainstream media that was saying there's going to be a hurricane or anything like that. But alternative source sources were saying that. No, you know, we don't think like the regular people. Well, we was sitting back you know looking to say why you know why is it that the mainstream media wasn't bringing out any information on this such a thing as a hurricane so we was there fall back um filtering through um filtering this through the spirit and up until the point where they said a hurricane was was possible to farm the government didn't say anything but we had some hard rains to the point where it was a 2.7 billion dollar worth of damage yeah we're gonna show you now it lead it leads me to think that this rain that fall the other day was not normal that was that, that, that rain was what should i call it that rain was by design because the powers that be have the, the power to spray, to spray nuclear and Florida in the clouds to bring forth every clouds actually make clouds and bring forth rain for a reason now we are we have cases where there's landslide and people got buried and put to death which this is not the first not the second not the third you know people got buried and put to death because of so-called areas that they lived in but from ever since i was born and this was before people was begging the government for a opportunity to live somewhere that they could enjoy or make the prices for land a bit cheaper or, give, or just give them the land and they'll pay the taxes for it you know continue to pay a tax so that they can live somewhere but no now the government is saying no build zones and there's a reason and I've, and I've made mention of it times upon times upon times again now this article here it says prime minister andrew holness said that the government will move to prevent people from living in places vulnerable to natural disasters mm. yeah. no where i'm on, i'm doing a lesson no where where you didn't you didn't hear this before where now if you was following my lessons you will find out this goes back to agenda 2030 or vision 2030 and the agenda goals such a thing called urbanization right and it, this really says like leaders before him who said that the practice of persons living in danger zones 
zone areas such as gully banks cannot be allowed to continue as it is putting lives at risk and affecting the country's productivity. We have to now put in place policies that will seek to ensure that we that we get Jamaicans to choose to live where it is environmentally safe, only said, admitting that the change will not happen overnight. Come here. Come here. Stay here. Come here. Right. Right. It says unsafe areas for it says former Prime Minister PJ Patterson in 2005 promised no build zone legislation that it was not not until 2018 when a building act was passed that the law was enacted that seeks to discourage the construction of buildings in unsafe areas however who only said that the government needs to develop a clear policy on urbanization and planned communities which he said would help answer the questions of where people should live so no this urbanization that uh, that we've been speaking a lot of brothers especially here in great Mistone, jamaica i can tell you we, we've been focused on these things the agenda um the un goals man and the, a part of this was urbanization and, and basically what urbanization is is to remove people from rural areas and put them in a a claustrophobic zone or a zone where like what should i call it like somewhere like richmond estate in Senton, or you know where they make these new buildings with house stacked on top of houses as wickedness join up a house joined to each other and people gonna basically live in those cluster areas uh, two bedrooms is 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 a more down to earth or uh, should i say one level living man now uh, are we gonna we're gonna get some scriptures as well seeing so that is that is what urbanization really is and that's where it is going but they're gonna play on the minds of the regular people to show that look this is disaster zone and re and I, that and I think that's the reason why the government didn't put out any report about any um hurricane because they know of what's to come you know and what er well I don't even understand I don't, you don't I don't even think that Andrew Wallace fully understand what urbanization is and before even going further I want to read Proverbs one verse twenty it says wisdom cried without she uttered her voice in the streets no. We are the ones that have been speaking of these things, man. Uh, and it's going to get worse. It says, She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the opening of, openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in your scorning, and fools hate knowledge, because it's been a long time we've been speaking of this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that this thing is going to get worse. It says, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. So the spirit of the Lord is his word. And if you follow this word, you know, you're going to have the spirit of the Lord. So you can um, discern or decipher um, of, between what they are saying and what the scriptures are saying and what's, what's actually going on. You know, when, when you, you, your fake politicians come up and speak, you look you can you would be able to see right through the bullshit from the get go because you would understand the scriptures and and having the holy spirit you you would know that these is just fluff and puff or they are just trying to bring forth this agenda that agenda right verse 24 says because i have called and you refuse i have stretched out my hand and no man regarded but you have set at not all my counsel I would not have my reproof. Then the Lord says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then, right, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they, had, they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Now, going back to the article here, 
where was it is saying there uh, where, where is it it says however only said that the government needs to develop a clear policy on urbanization and planned communities and planned communities which he said would help answer the questions of where people should live so they're going to choose designated areas where people should live he says we shouldn't wait until there is a disaster and then to come and say well they settled there irregularly and it is their fault we know that it is going to happen we know that there is going to come a weather event and we have seen it the landslide that happened in East Rural St. Angel where unfortunately two persons perish you can see that it is difficult it is a difficult place to build houses said uh, only said in that incident a father and a daughter Romeo and Shanique Leachman were killed when a landslide crushed their home in Shootersville during the rainfall on Saturday. So these are the things that they are going to use to justify to bring forth urbanization. I remember in Sept on September 11, September 11 of 2018, the Chinese, um, what they call them, China Arbor, introduced to the people of Jamaica a new city in the Caymanas area a smart city yeah and these places that urbanization is supposed to take place they're gonna be smart cities they're gonna be all tied up in in um, a digital framework having fast speed internet right now there's a there's a, a war America is saying to the Jamaican government do not take the um, Chinese 5G network and China is saying look take the 5G network and who else is gonna take the 5G network from China because they are on the um, the, the UN um, change and see that's the reason why these European countries are these United Nations countries gonna have to come up against America because what they're pushing for will will destroy the US um what do you call it again? A mm. genemy. You know, take them out of power <coughs> to basically give the power over to this to one state. One military, one governance, one everything and the and the US don't want that. So the, we have a problem there. No. The our our leaders that we have here sell you out. No, look at this. These are our reasons that they're gonna use to say it's not good for people to live certain place as if in relocating people it can stop the heavenly father from bring forth his destruction to do what whatever because you, you could put your place on a rock the heavenly father can split that shit and, and let the earth eat you up man right as you have done many times in history it says 2.7 billion Jamaican dollars rain damage bill. Prime Minister Andrew Wallace said that it will take at least 2.7 billion to reopen roadways and drains affected by the recent rainfall associated with tropical storm Zeta. Some 2 billion is for national works agencies in WA. Control roads and drains and several hundred million. For infrastructure that falls under the responsibility of the municipal corporations. Only said that the preliminary figure does not take into account the cost for the rehabilitation of roads and bridges that suffered extensive damage. Based on the extent of damage and the cost, all the required works will not be immediately done. Only said. See, I know you have to go any further. So, they they are using these things to justify urbanization. Now, what is urbanization? I, I I explained it to you. Now let's go to this article right here. I want to show you something. Bear with me a second, yeah, because we're gonna get some scriptures. So bear with me. So this is from uh, this was posted February 7, 2018. It says cities. 
2030, uh, implementing the new urban agenda. Remember, Andrew only speak about urbanization. It says in October 2016, the new urban agenda was anonymously adopted at the United Nations Conference on Housing and Sustainable Urban Development. Habitat 3 serving as a new vision for our cities and municip municipalities for the next 20 years. UNDP demonstrates its full support to the implementation of the new urban agenda with the official launch of its sustainable urbanization strategy. Now, let's go down a bit. It says, a year later, UNDP welcomed its strategic plan 2018 to 2021 and we're going we're going into 2021 now it says with the endorsement of member states providing strategic guidance to the UNDP's policies policy and programs for the next four years the new plan sets out the direction for a new UNDP to support countries to end extreme poverty and how can you end extreme poverty you're gonna get rid of the masses and put and put the survivors on one level yeah it says to, to end extreme poverty reduce inequality and achieve the goals of the 2030 agenda for sustainable development so what they are about to do is gonna build your homes and place your asses there man everybody's gonna get the same bed the same this the same that you're gonna get the same food um elon must have been speaking about a universal basic income everybody else is gonna look the fucking same pardon my language everything's gonna be the same that is what it is saying right let me read it again. It says the new plan sets out the direction for a new UNDP to support countries to end extreme poverty, relocating people. And this is going to come with a major, major resistance here in Jamaica. Mark my word. Because people gonna have their houses certain place and they're not going to want to live. So I don't even think that Andrew Willis understand what are what the, re, the, the, the the repercussion of this is gonna fully be man i'm telling you i'm telling you we, we're going into some crazy times man this is the this is the year of prophecy man this is prophecy being fulfilled right before your eye as the Lord says speak in the ears of his people let me get that man let, let me just let me get that then i come to the article Sec, oh, second ezra 15 man Second is just 15. It says, mm -hmm. it says, um, behold, second is just 15, verse 1. It says, behold, let me turn off that. It says, behold, speak though in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, which is the unbelief of them trouble thee, that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And that's what's coming, man. Because to bring forth these, these goals, these UN goals, guess what? A lot of you people have to die, man. And, and, and these devils know that. They, and they're, they're willing. They already put everything into place to make their move. It's just, it's just the heavenly father is using his angels to hold his back until he let get sealed. And it's not going to be a happy day like when dear Jesus walked, man. It's going to be a terrible, terrible time. And as I've said before, your government sell your asses out, man. Sell your asses out. I've given you up. You understand? I'd given you people up. That's the reason why the Heavenly Father hate them, man. Hate the Heavenly Father. Hate them. No, Proverbs 29, verse 8. It says, Scornful men bring a city into a snare. A snare is a trap. But wise men turn away wrath. So, so you, you, your Prime Minister, Andrew Unless, he is pushing for urbanization now. 
to bring this city into a snare. It's a trap. And a lot of people already saying that's a good thing because people can't be living there. Okay, yes, there are, pl there are places not wise to live. But the, the but the oh they're gonna move your asses man this is this not a for a righteous cause a whole lot of you gonna be caught up and you're gonna be effed up with this initiative man it's gonna be a total chaotic event now let me go back into this article it says the plan recognize that rapid urbanization and changing demographic patterns are challenging conventional thinking and development pathways and that addressing urban challenges requires cross-cutting integrated applications of expertise and investment customized for each country and circumstance and drive by global best practices and international standards so see so if you if you have this whole lot of houses you're gonna lose them you have this whole lot of cars, you're gonna lose it because they're gonna want. Furthermore, speaking about cars, I've said this before. The very car that you have there is gonna come a point in time when you can't even license or, re or register that shit to, to be on the road. It's got it's, this is gonna be a total reset. It's a it's a total different world we're entering, man. Uh, some drastic measures gonna be made and it's gonna affect you people dearly because you wasn't watching you wasn't praying you didn't care about what the lord was saying and then the people that you look up to which are scornful men they didn't care shit about you because what they need was what the crumbs from master's table Isaiah 28 verse 14 wherefore hear the word of the lord you scornful men like unjoinless they even for a scorn you man i'm telling you I know you've been watching our videos. I know you've set people to, you know, hate us or to, maybe to get us at some point. But, but to hell, man. Seeing all flesh. Hey, this is flesh. We die in the, the energy transfer. Go back to the spirit world. We come back. Simple. You understand? It says, Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, you scornful men that rule his people, which is in Jerusalem. Because he have said, We have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and on the falsehood have we hid ourselves. And and I'm I'm telling you, and Jonas can bring across this information so smooth, like every it's all good. But it's not, man. It's not. Go and do your research on Vision 2030. Are the are, are agenda 21 goals? Are vision vision 2030 goals? Get deep in it. Go on YouTube. In you have, you have information that in America people gonna be put into um, spaces, uh, uh, your bedroom. It is gonna be so small, like what a bedroom will be what nine feet, nine feet wide by something in length. I can't even remember exactly. But guess what? They are pushing for it out here now. It says, therefore, thus said the Lord. Power. Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, which is Yahweh Shai, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth and believeth shall not make yes. Judgment also will I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet. And the heel shall sweep away the refuge of lies. Because this is what's happening now. We, 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 we're countering these men when they come out with this bullshit information and the water shall overflow the hiding place and your covenant with death shall be this and all because the heavenly father is going to put a stop to this plan he saw, he, 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 I see the thing is with our government they have power but when they see real power emitting from the elites man they become this little bitch and they have to submit because they, all they get, all they got their power wasn't by right, and they fear Esau, Edom. Unlike us, we have nothing to lose but Yahweh Shai. So we, we, we teach a word, man. You, know? we teach Yahweh Shai. We worship Yahweh Shai. That, that's all we hear our fear lie. So, what can we do but prophesy? Yeah, he says, when the overflowing score shall pass through, then he shall be trodden down by it. From the, he says, from the time that. From the time that it goeth forth, it shall take you, for morning by morning shall it pass over by day and by night, and it shall be a vexation only to understand the report. Right? So, 
The Lord is not with you, you leaders of this people, man. Because the Lord tells you that the leaders of this people cause them to what? To err. Yeah? And you destroy the ways of the most high people, man. Trap them up. So you, Andrew Wallace, you sell out the people, man. You, you sell out your own people. You, you sell them out good. Yeah, yeah, there's a saying, before you kiss me, or before you F, F her, kiss her first, man. Well, there was no kiss. You just sell the people out with smooth talking. But Jake love lies, man. Jake love the smooth talking, man. You know? The smooth. Hey, it's 29 and 30. It's, it's smooth. Oh, I'm telling you, man. There you go. Where's the scripture again? Isaiah 30. Uh, where is that scripture I was thinking about? What's the word in of it? Yo, give me a second. Oh, shit. I think it has a word in it. I can't forget it. Smooth things. Smooth things in Isaiah 30 verse 10 right Isaiah 30 verse 10 verse 9 says that this is a rebellion no verse 8 no go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be forever that mean sorry that mean that it may be for a time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people lying children children that will not hear the love the most high we say to the seer see not unto the prophets prophesy not unto us writing, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. See, you want, you want us to be deceptive like your, your, your politician, but we, we, we can't do that, man. We have to tell you the truth. It says, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the whole one of Israel to cease from before us. And I have to close off this so quick because his memory is going to be out. Wherefore does say the Lord, therefore does say the whole one of Israel, because he despises word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay there and, Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in an high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant, and he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces. He shall not spare so that there shall not be found in, in the bursting of it assured to take fire from the hurt or to take water with all out of the pit. See? So you Israelites, you love lies, man. And the you leaders, trust me, that, that judge for hire, the Heavenly Father is going to get you, man. It's going to damage a whole lot of you. And I think I have to close it off right there. See, if anything, I do a follow up on it, Lord's willing. Um, I, 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 don't, I can't go too far on this phone. The memory is not good and it's going to lose all the video. But with that, I want to say all praises, glory and honors to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, Basham, Rekha, Kodash, and Dublin, and to the Apostles. And the elders of Britain stone shallow up.